What's going on guys? Welcome back, Leo Pazzo Productions. Thanks very much for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna be listening to and testing out the brand new Full Aim F1000 wireless microphone kit. If you've not watched my previous video that's going through the unboxing and the initial setup and going through all the specs, in today's video we're going to be doing some testing outdoors. We're going to also be doing a distance test. Right now you are currently listening to the wireless microphone. It is the internal microphone and I do have the wind muff on and I'm approximately about maybe four feet away from the camera and the receiver is connected right now to my Panasonic GH5 and the setting that I'm currently at is normal mode. The DB on the receiver is set to zero and the camera internal menu settings for the microphone volume is set to negative 12 dB. So this is what it's currently sounding like right now. I picked this location so it's simply easily to measure the distance as the camera is in line with the soccer field net. So we're basically just going to go ahead and take a few steps back. Gradually, we're going to go to the quarter way, the half way, and then the full mark all the way to 100 meters. This microphone is capable of doing, according to the specs on the website, is capable of doing up to 150 meters, which is 500 feet, which is super impressive. Today, we're gonna to be testing it out in line of sight, so there's not gonna be really many obstacles in my way, besides possibly my body if I go ahead and turn around and basically face the other way, and then my body would be as acting as interference between the transmitter and the receiver. I'm also gonna be testing out the lavalier microphone, and also, as you can see, like I mentioned, I do have the wind muff on here because it is kind of a windy day. I, again, I pick this location as well beside the trees so you guys can kind of get an idea maybe feel on how kind of windy it is and you can kind of see the movement from the trees so I'm gonna say that we are ready to start to do the test you guys know all the settings that we're currently set at if you guys are not familiar again with the microphone go ahead and take a look at my previous video I'll post a link up here down in the description as well so let's go ahead I'm gonna take at least a good 20 baby 20 steps back and see how the microphone sounds from there so I'm gonna go ahead again and turn my back towards the camera which is also going to be acting as a test because it might kind of cut out as I'm gonna be acting as interference with my body so let's go ahead and check it out one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So here we are. I'm gonna say maybe about quarter way of the soccer field. I definitely do feel the wind picking up a little bit. Again, I'm gonna be going so far back that you're probably not gonna even really see me on camera. So I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. And uh, this is what it's currently sounding like right now. Let's go ahead and go to the halfway point. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. So it looks like we are approximately about the halfway mark of the soccer field. Again, I took about 40 big steps plus the maybe two big steps that I was earlier in front of the camera. So this is what it's currently sounding like. Again, this is honestly my first test in an outdoor environment and this is my first distance test. So I'm gonna find out the results as well by this test when I go back home and edit. Let's go to the three quarter way and see how it sounds. Or So here I am, another big 20 steps. I'm going to say I'm almost at the three quarter way mark. I think I got quite a bit, a little bit more to go. So this is what it's currently sounding like again. So let's go ahead and take a few more steps back and see how the audio sounds. Four, five, six, So I'm not quite there yet. Again, another big 20 steps. I'm feeling the wind kind of picking up in this area right here. The wind is kind of off and on a little bit, but definitely this tree here beside me is moving around. Let's go ahead and make our way all the way to the other end of the soccer field. Four, 
bang, I took 23 steps. I'm literally in line with the soccer net right now. I'm so far away, you're probably not gonna be able to see me. But right now I'm gonna say I am approximately 100 meters away from the camera that is, again, mounted with the receiver that's picking up my audio here with the wireless microphone. This is the Full Aim F1000 Pro wireless microphone kit. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just keep um, facing the camera. I'm gonna take my steps back. I'm gonna try to continue to talk uh, just so you guys can kind of hear if the audio does cut out but again this microphone just to kind of talk about some of the features it does have a dsp mode which is going to be cancelling out any kind of background noise it does also have a low cut filter which i'm assuming you guys might be familiar with as well just kind of cutting out the low end of the audio maybe those lower end frequencies the microphone's not going to pick it up and it also has a mono mode, which I did not mention. I am actually filming in the mixed mono mode and I'm only obviously using the one microphone. I do have the other microphone, again, just in the charging hub because it does come with the charging hub. The batteries of the transmitter and receiver last approximately about seven hours and we can charge the full kit, the two, transmitters and the one receiver in the charging hub uh, we can charge it up to two times and it only takes approximately two hours to charge uh, the kit one time and we also do have stereo mode so it's going to be fantastic because we do have two mics so if you have two people talking we can literally um, pick up both of the audio nice and clearly and you can uh, just keep it in stereo mode if that works for you and we also have uh, the safety track which is going to record the believe it's the left audio 6 db lower than the right uh, track so just in case um, you record the audio too loud the lower channel which i believe is going to be the right one or the left one i can't remember but one of them is going to be recorded 6 db lower so just in case your audio is recorded too loud you can uh, go ahead and hopefully salvage the audio and post production so there's a quick little test again the internal microphone i say i go ahead and swap to the lavalier microphone and we're also going to be doing another test so stay tuned for that i'm going to be plugging in a shotgun microphone into this uh, transmitter over here because that's what we're able to do we can plug in a lavalier microphone which is included and I've also brought with me a shotgun microphone which in which uh, gets powered via two AAA batteries and I can just plug it in via 3.5 into the transmitter so let's go ahead and do that and plug in the lavalier microphone Okay guys, so I just plugged in the lavalier microphone and I did not mention earlier that I was monitoring the audio previously on our first test with the headphones because the receiver does have an audio output with the headphones so we can simply monitor the audio and that's why I chose the settings that I chose in the previous test. But now with the lavalier microphone here clipped onto my shirt, I do have the transmitter just kind of sitting in my pocket and I ran the lavalier microphone wire just up my shirt over here and now it's clipped on. And just monitoring the audio with the headphones, I was able to tell with the current settings and with this lavalier microphone it kind of sounded like to me that the wind is kind of being picked up so I just kind of want to go through the different settings quickly before I don't really need to do another distance test but just to kind of show you the different settings and how it sounds so again I am in the mixed mono mode the same mode that I was in previously I am still set at 0 dB and I am still in the normal setting so I'm going to go through the different uh, modes that we have such as low cut filter uh, DSP mode and also the KTV mode just to kind of give you guys an example on what it's going to be sounding like so let's go ahead and switch that to the low cut filter next because from my test for monitoring the audio I was noticing that with the low cut filter on and with DSP on uh, you weren't able to hear the the wind as much so let's go ahead and switch it to the low cut filter Okay guys, this is what it sounds like with the lavalier microphone with the low cut filter enabled. Again, we still got the wind going, but it kind of seems from my test from monitoring the audio with the headphones that the wind is not really being picked up as much. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the next mode, which is the DSP mode, which is also going to be canceling out any background noise. So let's see how it tests. You guys let me know in the comments. So now we are listening to the lavalier microphone once again, but now we have the DSP mode enabled this is what it sounds like again the lavalier microphone the transmitters in my pocket all the same settings i'm in the mono mixed mode right now but i have enabled the dsp effect mode so this is what it sounds like from my test again it does sound like the wind is kind of being cut out and not really being picked up as much so let's go ahead just to give you guys an idea what the ktv mode effect sounds like so you guys can see it's not really something that i would probably be using that much unless i kind of wanted to be creative or maybe doing some kind of uh, singing or some kind of recording some kind of an artist so let's go ahead so you guys can get an idea what it sounds like 
Okay guys, this is what the lavalier microphone sounds like outdoors with the KTV effect enabled. This is what it sounds like, all the same settings, mixed mono mode, and probably it sounds like there's some kind of echo, reverb, but this is exactly what it's supposed to sound like. So just to kind of give you guys an idea, this is what it sounds like currently right now. Okay guys, so as promised, I'm doing another test for you outdoors, and this time I have the transmitter, but instead of using the lavalier microphone or instead of using the internal microphone, I've actually plugged in this shotgun microphone right here. This is the Cinco shotgun microphone, budget-friendly microphone. It's being powered right now via two AAA batteries, and I just kind of have it set to the standard settings, zero dB. I turned it on, and I have it plugged into the transmitter with the 3.5 millimeter cable. I'm just kind of holding it here in my hand not trying to make too much movement again if you wanted to ideally you want to connect this to maybe like a boom mic or like a boom stand a microphone stand and you can kind of just position it out of frame and instead of using the lavalier or the internal you can also be using this wireless microphone kit with a shotgun microphone I'm going to be honest with you it's not as windy as it was in the previous location where I was filming at the soccer field football field and as you guys saw from the previous test that is what the microphone sounds like and all all the different modes and also the distance range test and this is what it sounds like using with the shotgun microphone so guys feel free let me know down in the comment section down below what your favorite mode was what your favorite setting was and if you're impressed with the distance range test all that kind of good stuff if you have any comments questions concerns let me know down in the comment section down below i appreciate you guys watching if you guys haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the next video peace